Hi everyone. I thought it was time to give an update on my moon garden. It's been a while and now that spring is here, I'm going to show you so far what I have going. And if you would like to see what I have growing so far, keep watching this video. everyone, it's Chris. Welcome or welcome back to Gardening at the Simon Getty North. Yep, today I thought I would show you an update on my moon garden. Uh, last year I did have some damage. I had to take down my moon arch. As you can see, there's no moon arch here. I do actually have one on the way. So if it actually arrives before I publish this video, I'll put it, um, I'll show it at the end. Or I'll just show a picture of it at the end of what it's going to look like but it's an all steel metal moon arch. And of all places, I found it uh, through Walmart online. <laughs> Go figure. I've been looking for a while now to try to find an all steel moon arch, but we'll see. It's supposed to be here Tuesday or Wednesday. So I did get the moon garden pretty much cleaned up. As you can see, my walkway is in desperate need of some help. And I would like to get some suggestions from you on what to do with this. I have more bark that I'd like to put down. Do I um, clean this up, you know, the, remove the old bark and then put down weed barrier? Or what do you suggest? It's something that I'd like to be kind of maintenance free, sorta. I know nothing's maintenance free, but please leave me a comment below and give me some suggestions on how to get this cleaned up. So I'm gonna take you around and show you what I have so far that's come up and also some seedlings that I'm going to be putting in the moon garden as well. I'm also looking for suggestions on some other annuals maybe to put in or maybe even some more perennials. I'm trying to get more perennials in there so I don't have to keep adding as many flowers each year and just kind of cleaning it up. Um, but I'm probably definitely gonna get some more supertunia um, Vista snowdrift that was awesome in there and it spilled over the sides. I'll put a picture up in the corner of what my moon garden looked like last year. And I have um, moonflower seeds that have sprouted and are getting ready to go in there preparing for my moon arch. And um, yeah, so why don't we go ahead and take a walk around and I'll show you what I have going on. These are the white feather hostas next to the bleeding hearts that were supposed to be all white bleeding hearts. Over here, these are, they're a white daisy, Prince Zulu Cape Daisy. These will be going in the moon garden soon. And then over here is the Snow Queen Clematis that I put in there. That'll go up this trellis. Here is Silver Mound, that is a perennial. I put that in last year. There's another one. These are the white snapdragons I just got from Proven Winners. And this is an astilbe plant, and so is this one. I got a few of them in here now. These were bare roots. I think they were called diamond. They're supposed to be an all white. There's another one over there. I had planted my double diamond white yarrow over here as well. There's some more tulips. This here is my um, polyanthus tuberosa. This is zone three through nine or 10, I believe. I didn't realize how hardy it was, so I thought, well, this is getting planted in the moon garden, and I got a few of them around. There's another one, I think it might be behind me. Nope, it is right there. 
And here's the white hyacinth. Can't remember what that is. But over here is some more of the um, astobes. This is supposed to be white lupine. I started that from seed last year, so it's, I believe it's a biennial, so this should be blooming this year. Here's some white daffodils. I found them in the grass. I transplanted them here since they were all white. This here is a white rose peony. It never did bloom last year. I just, I did plant it for the first time last year. So this year, this is what it's looking like. Hopefully we'll get some blooms on that. And this is the moon rock hydrangea, which I have two more of these. Over here I have my white rose bushes. A couple of them don't look like they're doing too good. This one over here actually has some growth on it down on the bottom. I'll have to look to see what this one is. I can't read the tag. It's been, this is a white iris. Well, it's supposed to be white. So we'll see about this year. I believe that's an, another uh, still be. This here is an anemone, the snowdrop anemone. And this is another white astobe. And here is the other moon rock hydrangea. These are more seedlings that I'm gonna be putting in there. There is the white rocket snapdragons. And there's also the white stock. I think it was called high double. And for my winter sewing project, this one here is called, it's also a perennial, Summer and Snow. This one here is the Columbine, and this side here is the white, the Crystal Star Columbine that I'm very excited to finally get some sprouts from. And this is a mix Columbine there. That's not going in the moon garden, it just shared a container. This is a white lilac bush. It'll be the first time blooming this year. You can see how it has buds on it already. That's gonna be pretty and it's supposed to be very fragrant as well. So now that you've seen the flowers in my moon garden, what, what do you suggest? What other flowers would you put in there? I think I might put in still, um, I'll show a picture of that as well. It was uh, um, night sky, I think it was High Highlander, something like that. The night sky, it was purple with white specks in it. I kind of made it like a Milky Way in there. Um, but what do you think? Should I add a little color to it, keep it all white? Leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, please smash the like button. And if you haven't become a Simon Getty subscriber, please become a Simon Getty subscriber today. And again, please leave me some comments on what to put in the moon garden. And watch to see if I got my moon arch or not, or if it's just a picture at the end. Hope to see you at the next video. Live, love, laugh, and garden. God bless. Bye.